Hello everyone, good day. This lecture is all about plumbing water systems review. To begin our discussion, let us first take a look on the definition of plumbing system. As defined in this section, plumbing is the practice, materials, and fixtures used in installing maintaining and altering piping fixtures appliances and appurtenances in connection with sanitary or storm drainage facilities, a venting system and public or private water supply systems. Plumbing system consists of three parts. First is an adequate potable water supply system. Second is a safe adequate drainage system and third is ample fixtures and equipment. Plumbing system is divided into four components. These are water supply system, kitchen plumbing system, drain waste, and vent system, and bathroom plumbing system. Now let us discuss the following respectively. First is the water supply system. It is the system that travels from municipal water supply, to the street, and finally to our houses. Where it branches out to deliver the water to faucets, showers, toilets, bathtubs, and appliances. Next is the kitchen plumbing system. It is the plumbing setup that includes hot and cold water supply lines to the faucets, a waste line for the sink. Included also in this components is the drain waste and vent system. It is the system that carries waste water and sewage from sinks, bathtubs, showers, toilets, and water using appliances to the septic tank or public sewer. The last one is the bathroom plumbing system. It is the system that handles water delivery and waste removal from all of these fixtures in an organized, efficient and leak-free manner in a bathroom. Now, let's discuss thoroughly the focus of this discussion, which is the water system. Water supply plumbing systems supply water to infrastructure for the collection, transmission, treatment, storage, and distribution of water for homes, commercial establishments, industry and irrigation, as well as for such public needs as firefighting and street flushing. The purpose of water system is to deliver water to consumer with appropriate quality, quantity, and pressure. Additionally, we will now discuss the municipal water system and its five key stages. First is the source of water. Source water is an underground aquifers that are the source of our water supply, fed by rain and melting snow. Next is the water distribution systems. It is the pipes and pumps that deliver clean water to our taps. The third one is the waste water collection system. It is the pipes and pumps that take away used water from our toilets, drains, bathtubs and laundry. These are also called sewers. The fourth one is the waste water treatment. It is the processes to remove contaminants from our used water so that it can be safely returned to the environment. This is also called sewage treatment. And finally, the storm water system. It is the pipes, ditches and natural systems that channel our rain water and snow melt away from our homes and businesses, and back to the natural environment. After knowing the five key stages of municipal water system, let us now determine the common steps in municipal sewage treatment. First is the preliminary treatment. This stage of treatment removes grit, like sand, and gravel, eggshells, coffee grounds etc. from raw sewage. Next one is the primary treatment. This stage of treatment starts with temporary holding of sewage to allow the solids to sink to the bottom, and oil, and grease to float to the top. The settled and floating material is removed, and the remaining liquid is moved to the next stage of treatment. Another is the secondary treatment. This stage of treatment removes dissolved and suspended biological matter and the remaining liquid is moved to the next stage of treatment. And lastly, the tertiary treatment. The purpose of this final stage is to further improve the quality of the water before it is released and reused in the environment for lakes rivers seas or other places. Now, we will move our discussion to different water sources like surface water, ground water, and other sources. Surface waters such as lakes, reservoirs, streams, and rivers, are the drinking water source for approximately 50% of our population, is generally of poor quality and requires extensive treatment. Ground water on the other hand is the source for the other approximately 50% of our population and is of better quality. However, it still may be contaminated by agricultural runoff or surface and subsurface disposal of liquid waste, including leachate from solid waste landfills. Other sources, 
such as spring water and rain water, are of varying levels of quality, but each can be developed and treated to render it potable. That's all for this part of the discussion, thank you for listening. Water service. Four feet of soil is a commonly accepted depth to bury the line to prevent freezing. The minimum service line should be 3 4 inch. The minimum water supply pressure should be 40 pounds per square inch. No cement or concrete joints should be allowed. No glue joints between different types of plastic should be allowed. And no female threaded PVC fitting should be allowed. The materials used for a house surface may be approved plastic, copper, cast iron, steel, or wrought iron. Elements of service installation First is the corporation stop. The corporation stop is connected to the water main. Second, curb stop. The curb stop is a similar valve used to isolate the building from the main for repairs, non-payment, of water bills or flooded basement. Third is the curb stop box. The curb stop box is an access box to the curb stop for opening and closing the valve. Last is the meter stop. The meter stop is the valve placed on the street side of the water meter to isolate it for installation or maintenance. Many codes require a gate valve on the house side of the meter to shut off water for plumbing repairs. Hot and cold water main lines. The hot and cold water main lines are usually hung from the basement ceiling or in the crawl space of the home and are attached to the water meter and hot water tank on one side and the fixture supply risers on the other. Hot and cold water lines should be approximately 6 inches apart unless the hot water line is insulated. Hot and cold water piping materials. Polyvinyl Chloride PPC is used to make plastic pipe. PPC piping has several applications in and around homes such as in underground sprinkler systems, pipings for swimming pool pumping system, and low pressure drain systems. Chlorinated PPC CPPC is a slightly yellow plastic pipe used inside homes. Copper. Copper comes in three grades. A. M for thin wall pipe, used mainly inside homes. B. L for thicker wall pipes, used mainly outside for water services. And C. K, the thickest, used mainly between water mains and the water meter. Galvanized steel. Galvanized pipe corrodes rather easily. The typical life of this piping is about 40 years. PEX PEX is an acronym for cross-formulated polyethylene. PEX is remarkably durable within a wide range of temperatures, pressures, and chemicals. KITEC A multi-purpose pressure pipe that uniquely unites the advantages of both metal and plastic. It is made of an aluminum tube laminated to interior and exterior layers of plastic. Poly Poly pipe is a soft plastic pipe that comes in coils and is used for cold water. Polybutylene Polybutylene pipe is a soft plastic pipe. This material is no longer recommended because of early chemical breakdown. Water flow control types Shut off valves allow servicing of parts of the system without draining the entire system. Flow control valves provide uniform flow at varying pressures and often used to limit flow to a fixture. Relief valves permit water or air to escape from the system to relieve excess pressure. Pressure reducing valves a pressure reducing valve is used to reduce line pressure. Altitude valves. An adjustable spring allows setting the level so that the valve closes and prevents more inflow when the tank becomes full. 
Foot valves, a special type of check valve installed at the end of a suction pipe or below the jet in a well to prevent the backflow and loss of prime. Check valves, permit water flow in only one direction throughout a pipe. Frost proof faucets, installed outside a house with the shut off valve extending into the heated house to prevent freezing. Frost-proof hydrants make outdoor water service possible during cold weather without the danger of freezing. Float valves respond to a high water level to close an inlet pipe, as in a tank-type toilet. Miscellaneous switches A. Float switches respond to a high and or low water. B. Pressure switches with a low pressure cutoff. Stop the pump motor if the line pressure drops to the cutoff point. C. Low flow cutoff switches are used with submersible pumps to stop the pump if the water discharge falls below a predetermined minimum operating pressure. D. High pressure cutoff switches are used to stop pumps if the system pressure rises above a predetermined maximum. E. Paddle type flow switches. Detects flow by means of a paddle placed in the pipe that operates a mechanical switch when flow in the pipe pushes the paddle. Water heaters consist of a space for heating the water and a storage tank for providing hot water over a limited period of time powered by electricity, fuel oil, gas, or in rare cases, coal or wood. Water heaters. A heating device is activated by the flow of water when a hot water valve is open. The heater delivers a constant supply of hot water. The output of the heater limits the rate of the heated water flow. The demand water heaters are available in propane, natural gas, or electric models. Then, they can now be used for various water applications. Water supply filtration and treatment system. Water filter pitchers, pitchers that are filled from the top and have built-in filters that water must pass through before being poured out for drinking or other use. Pros, inexpensive to purchase, no installation and easy to use. Cons, vary by model and pore size, filters must be replaced regularly and has slow filtering. Refrigerator filters, Many refrigerators have a built-in filter that supplies water through the door and supplies an automatic ice maker. Pros Come with many refrigerators, often improve water taste, may also filter water used for making ice and easy to use. Cons Filters must be replaced regularly. Faucet mounted filters attach to a standard faucet and can be switched on and off between filtered and unfiltered water flow. Pros can easily switch between filtered and unfiltered water and relatively inexpensive. Cons do not work with all faucets and may slow water flow. Faucet integrated built in filter a faucet designed with built in filters instead of an touch filter like a faucet mounted system can require installation. Pros can easily switch between filtered and unfiltered water. Cons often expensive and require installation. On counter filters, faucets designed with a built in filters instead of an attached filter like a faucet mounted system and has required installation. Pros can easily switch between filtered and unfiltered water. Cons often expensive and require installation. Under sink filters installed under a sink. And send water to a pipe to the filters on a specially installed faucet. Pros filter, filter large amount of water and do not take up countertop space. Cons often expensive and may require modifications to plumbing. Whole house water treatment device that treat all water entering the house, not just the water used for drinking. Pros treatment is applied to all water entering your home, which may be important for hard water and volatile organic compounds. Cons, often expensive, may require modification to plumbing, may require professional maintenance, filtering that removes chlorine might increase growth of germs in all the pipes in your house. 
Treatment Devices Treatment Device Activated carbon filter includes mixed media that remove heavy metals. What it does to water? Observes organic contaminants that accuse taste and other problems. Some designs remove chlorination by products. Some types remove cleaning solvents and pesticides. Treatment limitation is efficient in removing metals such as lead and copper. Does not remove nitrates, bacteria, or dissolved minerals. Iron exchange unit with activated alumina removes minerals, particularly calcium and magnesium, that makes water hard. Some designs remove radium and barium. Removes fluoride. If water has oxidized iron or iron bacteria, the iron exchange resin will remove coated or clogged and lose its softening ability. Reverse osmosis unit carbon removes nitrates, sodium, other dissolved inorganics and organic compounds, remove foul taste, smells, odors. We also reduce the level of some pesticides, dioxins, chloroform, chloroform, and petrochemicals. Does not remove all inorganic and organic contaminants. Distillation unit removes nitrates, bacteria, sodium, hardness, dissolved solids, most organic compounds, heavy metals, and radionucleates, kills bacteria. Does not remove some volatile organic contaminants, certain pesticides, and volatile solvents. Bacteria may, may recolonize on the cooling soils during inactive periods. Water conservation. Step save water and money according to Environmental Protection Agency. Stop leaks. Take showers, replace shower heads, turn the water off when not needed, replace your old toilet, replace your clothes washer, plant the right plants with proper landscape design and irrigation, water plants only as needed. These are references. Papa. And that's all for plumbing water systems review. Thank you and have a good day.